Hello, I recently visited the USA because I was invited to blow some stuff up for entertainment there. This was quite a spectacular experience for me that I want to share with you. Now, the original plan was to beat the world record for Devil's Toothpaste there. For that, I first had a one hour Skype meeting including Science Bob, who is the world's leading expert when it comes to Devil's Toothpaste world records. He did help us a lot and I want to thank him for that here once again. But he also had some legitimate concerns about our plans. The behind the scenes of the Devil's Toothpaste is that it was literally months uh, of work. It was lots of figuring out the triggering mechanism, um, sure. lots of like trial and error. Um, and I just, uh, it's just going to be important for safety's sake and for the effect of it um, that, that those things are thought through. They're not, you know, trivial chemicals. They're, sure. they're dangerous and they're expensive. And, um, and the environmental impact is also just something to think about as well. So for that reason, we decided to do the Devil's Toothpaste World Record in 2023 in order for us to have enough time to prepare everything properly. The guy who invited me there, David Williamson, was one of the most interesting person I ever met. I was a chef for most of my life. Uh, then I went back to school, um, you know, got my master's, got my doctorate, worked as a professor for a long time. I'm a, a management professor. Um, my focus is organizational behavior, um, or as I jokingly like to say, cult leadership 101. Um, which is one of the funny things about the group because one of the jokes is we're not a cult. In case you want to join in on this madness next year, you can click on the link to the Facebook group in the description. So after I arrived, we visited different American hardware stores buying chemicals for science demonstrations that would immediately get me arrested in Germany like many pounds of potassium nitrate, liters of methanol, liters of concentrated sulfuric acid drain cleaner, and so on. Besides that, I also got the full American experience with very American food, 4XL t-shirts, driving 10 feet instead of walking, etc. They also had some very cute animals there. My favorite being a super cute pet duck. But also some pigs that you could pet, a turkey called Simon Mr. Simon <laughs> and some very curious goats. So after an incredible week having fun in America it was time for the big show I prepared. So here are the experiments that I managed to come up with. I began with a block of dry ice David bought that was professionally packaged in a cardboard box. So we started to make some nice cool Mountain Dew with that. So who wants a drink? Oh. That's safe to drink? That's yeah, the, sure is. I mean, you don't want to get the dry ice into your mouth, obviously. I mean, it's not we do, but so how safe is it? Well, it's been nice knowing y'all. <laughs> don't drink the flaming Kool-Aid. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Just cheers. You right here? <laughs> Pick that up. Go! So let's go oh, like half a bit. in here. Uh -huh. And now let's add the water and see how much fog we can make. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh 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 god! Yeah, now we've wall. killed all the fog and made like a giant mountain of bubbles. It's like the ambulance. Oh, oh, oh. Smoking. After the fun with the dry ice, I tried burning a taped bundle of sparklers underwater and almost blew myself up with that. What should we call you? Professor? Doctor? Oh, Elias. Oh, oh, oh. Now everything.
everything is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is ruined. Let's still beat the fire. Wasn't just literally. <laughs> we sacrificed someone to the fire. It's gonna be a big fire. Oh! 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 Yeah, that's my Oh! Yo, Mason, go touch it. Yeah, go so we managed it, to make fire. Oh! Mason, go get a Mason, get a Can we try this at home? Um, I mean, obviously, I can't recommend it, but I'm not your dad, so. Good answer. Now, uh, we started out with the dry ice, which is like really cold, like in American units, like negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit, wow. if I calculated that correctly. America! <laughs> and now we have in here some... You don't go to jail for blowing up shit. Some uh, liquid right. nitrogen, which is like way colder, like negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, wow. if I remember correctly. So let's pour out some of this cap. Oh, that's liquid nitrogen. Yeah, and I mean, you know, it's incredibly cold. So you would like expect that it would certainly hurt me if I get some of that on me. So let's try. It. And as you can see, it doesn't hurt me at all. And the reason for that is it evaporates so insanely quickly <coughs> that it creates like a cushion of air between my skin and that's the way and because of that I don't get hurt at all. I mean I can do this in an even more extreme way and take some in my no! mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a mad scientist. Doesn't hurt me in the least. Wow. If I throw it up into the air, it like immediately disappears into thin air because like that's exactly what it is. It is liquid nitrogen. The air is made of 80% nitrogen and the boiling point is so far below the ambient temperature that's why it disappears immediately. And like with these extremely low temperatures, um, oh, yes. stuff behaves a lot different at very, oh. these very low temperatures. So here I have a regular orange. If I drop that on the ground, you can see nothing happens like at all. <laughs> uh, but before I started the show, I put like another orange in here. And as you can see, oh. it's already broken by freezing it. And if I throw that up here, it's oh. like a oh. Oh. Yeah. frozen orange. But I wanted to demonstrate also like if we have like a rubber glove like this at room temperature, it's like really flexible and you can bend it. But if we fill it with some liquid nitrogen. <laughs> you can see it has gotten quite stiff. And if I squish it now. <laughs> Like that. Oh my God. Science! <laughs> yeah, now I somehow need to do the other experiment with only one glove, but it doesn't matter. We can, we can also do that with whipped cream if I. And now I can get. Uh, does anybody know how these bottles work? Push it down! Push it to the side. Push it to the side. Push it to the side. Ah. There it goes. Very nice. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have some. Oh, I need to freeze this mask thoroughly. You gotta go try it, babe. Can I eat it? <laughs> so, if I have some frozen whipped cream right here. Whoa! 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 Who wants to try it? I will. I will. Uh, very, very good. So, um, you can also use that to make a rocket. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
which is like uh, very dangerous. <laughs> oh, sounds awesome! So oh, good. <laughs> I love dangerous stuff. Sounds dangerous. Let's do two. Probably no worse than Mentos. So let's stand back. I'm guessing it is. He's a chemist. And he's got goggles on. There's a reason for that. I hope they don't fall over. So I will just pour some liquid nitrogen in here. Oh, You know something went really wrong when you the science guys. I don't know. And let's try to turn it upside down. Oh, right. Okay. Oh! So in this bottle right here, I mean, every, if I would, were to ask what's in this bottle, what would you say? Water. Water, yeah. I mean, that's like the mean thing because it really looks like water, but if I open it, oh, you can see yeah. it starts boiling immediately. Because it's not water in here, but liquid butane. Oh. <laughs> Should I be stepping back? Oops. <laughs> Oops. I heard he said butane. Everybody step back and then oops. <laughs> Uh, now we have a layer of butane floating under liquid mountain oh, yeah, fuel. Yeah. And now it lights us on fire. <laughs> 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 oh, <everyone. laughs> None of us are closer than the camera. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, at this point in the show you can see David's body language was like I made a big mistake in writing this crazy German scientist. So that's enough for the butane. So let's do something entirely different right now. What we have here is a clad filled with regular sugar. And here we have some uh, sulfuric acid drain cleaner. Don't drink alcohol while doing chemistry! <laughs> yes, now we know! Now we know! Yeah, and now we slowly and carefully climb this part in at the same time. That's the cool way, folks. Yeah, it is. You gotta drink it later. No, no, so it doesn't splash. Otherwise, it's going to burn. Okay. Now let's all stand. Wait, he says stand back. Sometimes whoops is a big whoops. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like a scientific term, I believe. Whoops is a scientific term. What is that? It's bubbling black. So no, it's hopefully not going to shoot up when the. So what do you expect is going to happen then? 
<laughs> That's a great Are we on track? Is expectation is that we get a large carbon snake, but we'll see what happens. I've never tried this on this scale. I feel like those people shouldn't be inhaling that over there. Well, it's fine. Guys, stop looking at it. It can't perform. <laughs> stop performance anxiety. Come on, slow down. Do you guys know he has a special science name on YouTube? It's Mind Shots. Did I say that right? Mind what? Shots? No, what? So it means my sweetheart. Where does that come from? I think Germany. Schmetterling! <laughs> Woo! Schmetterling! Papillon. Butterfly. Farfalla. Mariposa. Schmetterling! Okay, I guess there won't be a lot more happening with that. <laughs> so that was kind. I think I should get really close to it. <laughs> so that was kind of a disappointment. Okay. I don't know. Maybe go away from there. Yeah, maybe. Oh. maybe go far away. Okay. <laughs> far away. So now we've mixed the brake fluid and the pool chlorine. What? <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, things not to do. Walter White taught me what that makes. I mean, now it looks like nothing's happening, but trust me, that's going to change really soon. <laughs> Trusting you. We are trusting you. It is doing things. Okay. You can be sure about that. We're not getting closer to look, that's why I'm asking. No, we are not getting closer to look. <laughs> I've tested this lots of times before. It's like when you least expect it. All right, very nice. <laughs> what? 
Okay, that's the problem. You're doing what? Now, <laughs> I've taken apart some batteries, lithium batteries to be precise. Mmm, lithium. And I've taken out the lithium metal. What is it? Lithium batteries, and I've taken out the lithium metal and I've wrapped it right here. And there's more? So here we have some lithium metal. And now let's see what happens when we mix lithium and metal with water. Back up! I also never tested this before, so... Uh, move, move, move. I have no idea. Stand back! In order to introduce the comedy program following my show, we mixed 12 pounds of potassium nitrate with 7 pounds of sugar and used that to start the fire. It released a ton of smoke, also it burned for a surprisingly long time. And as the finale for Drew Morgan's comedy show, we dissolved boric acid in methanol. I'm gonna hear him close, I'll stand up, throw it on and get the fuck back, cause it's probably gonna pretty good, huh? Yeah. Like pouring gasoline in the fire. And use that to make a giant green flame by pouring it into the fire. So, this was a crazy week in America. Yeehaw! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. this one, it was all made possible by this guy right here, David Williamson. So, thanks a lot. It was very fun. It was like the most expensive video I ever did by far. <laughs> and I didn't have to pay anything, so that's fantastic. <laughs> anything else you want to add? No, just been great having you. And we can't wait to keep up with you and do this next year when we are going to beat the world record devil's toothpaste experiment. All right, we'll do that. Awesome. Very nice. And we'll also get you back here doing all kinds of American stuff like shooting guns and eating a lot of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. This has been a good time. <laughs>